Hello friends and fellow adventurers. Making friends. Lilith, I'm not sure this is a great idea. I... Of course it's a great idea. I'm going to have everyone officially meet you. The townsfolk need to know the real Dark. Wow, the Dark Wizard himself? So, from what I understand, you got possessed by some weird thingy from the world of below? Uh, I think that is the case, yes. My memory is gone, just like Hodges, but I would like to discover more. See? Dark? Meeting people is good. I know it can be hard to get enough courage to talk to people. If anyone knows about being a monster, it's me. Hey, I sit with you at the tavern now. I must admit, I was a little scared of your powers before, but I too have been seen as a monster. I don't easily fit in. So we all have something in common, right, Dark? Yes, I suppose so. I feel an immense amount of guilt for what I was part of. I just hope that you can all forgive me. Well, it seems like it wasn't your fault. That monster thingy could have possessed anyone. Yeah, tell him, Xana. I don't deserve this kindness. Oh, they're very nice to him. Iris, everybody's being nice in town. We need to go. Oh, we, I've been busy reading Psalms history. I just know that you appreciate. Just know that I appreciate it very much. What a magnificent town! Bravo! Our parch Arpeggio gave us a Deluca coin. Isn't that lovely? Let's go see what's at the store. Uh, no, a golden egg. I don't know how he stocks these things. Is he, like, plundering from my chickens? Oh my gosh, there's some bugs. There's a lot of bugs. I think we need to hang out with Arpeggio. He's our new BFF. Okay, so... We polished off a lot of things here. Mm hmm, we did. I think I found a rare item. Okay, black sheep. Do do do. Oh, you know what? What I should be doing is I should be hanging out with Arpeggio. Instead, I'm just like. Duder. Oh, 100%. I sang a wonderful ballad for Dalton and Turk this morning, but they fell asleep. Preposterous. I'll accept your gift. A gift for a wonderful hero. Ridge tile, wood. Oh, nice. Oh, why, yes, this vest does complement my vigor. Let's hang out. Yes, let's hang out. So, bridge tile. This, does this mean what I think it means? Can I seriously build a bridge? Uh, no way. What? <laughs> oh, that is nice. That is nice. I like this bridge tile business. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna build build more. Okay, let's get this bridge tile out again. There we are. I mean, maybe I should be. It's more like a plank. I, it's not very glamorous, but hey, it's doing the job. All right, so we need to go now and get ourselves. Uh, we have two more books out in the dust caverns. Is what we got, buddy. Two more books. Okay, let's get out there. Let's go see if there's anybody doing the thing. We don't any, uh, need any of that jazz. Okay, uh, all I see is Whompers. I don't want to see Whompers. Okay, nothing here. Unless they're hiding in that clump of dirt, it's possible. Don't discount miracles, they might be... That's, they're just appeared in the dirt and they're gonna pop out. That's uh, the kind of miracles I have here. I don't know that there's anybody here. All right. I mean, if there is, I, you know, are, are you a person? Nope. They're definitely. If I mind them, and they were definitely not a person. You're a whomper. That's definitely a rock. Okay, let's leave the cavern and check door number two. Nothing up there. Nothing over there. Nothing down here. Oh boy. Hmm. Wow. Alright, door number three. I'm mildly surprised. But also kind of not. Maybe we will. We'll see. Uh, hold out. Oh, there it is. There's our friend. Which one is this again? Hadrian the Gladiator brings us a book of good things. Book 14, The Endless Forest. Coming soon to audiobook. Okay, let's leave the caverns and let's go to the forest. Uh, we'll go smash a few trees. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter.
Okay, we'll just chop down whatever we get here. Perfect. This would be a good little spot. Now, I'm thinking uh, I should also go and check on the uh, port city. We'll see if there's anybody there that is uh, needing our help. Uh, let's see. Wow, okay. Let's go, uh, let's leave the forest. I totally just spaced out into my logging there. Let's go see if our, like, I, I'm curious when our fire friend is going to come. Or whoever it is that has the fire cards. I, I don't remember initially when we were meeting the big five. Yeah, Erica's still here. Okay, not a, not a big deal. Let's return to town. Sorry, let's return to home. <laughs> uh, Arpeggio is now crashing. It's, it, it's the whole thing. Okay. Wow, we gained some levels with Arpeggio. Wowzers. Okay, yeah, we gained a lot of levels very quick there. Arpeggio's grand entrance. Ooh, an opportunity arises. I must make my grand entrance and show how these two town folk, how amazing my voice is. Oh, that's cool, Max. I didn't know they were your favorite bard band. Yeah, their mellow tunes keep, and deep lyrics really inspire me to write poems. Say, so, yeah, who's your favorite uh, bard band? There's only one guy who takes my spot, and that's Quasimodo. Quasimodo. His rock and tunes get me amped up. Greetings, my fellow townsfolk. I'm Arpeggio, the traveling bard. Shall I grace you both with my beautiful voice? Yeah, Ash and I have to agree. Quasimodo is really talented. Not only is his voice amazing, but he is quite the performer on stage. I shall now sing a song. Whenever he gets on stage, the crowd goes wild. How can one bard have that many good songs? I have good songs, too. Yeah, it's truly amazing. Hey, we should go to a Quasimodo concert one of these days. That would be awesome, Max. I, I'm a failure. Hey, oh, hey, Arpeggio. Sorry, I didn't see there. Hey, Arpeggio, we were just discussing our favorite bard bands. Wait a sec, are you, aren't you a bard? I would like to be. <laughs> Poor Arpeg. That is a brutal existence. Oh, sorry, somebody gave me Deluca coins for something. Iris wants to gather stuff. But Iris, I gotta, I gotta focus on all of the other people in the town who want the things. I will come and hang out with you soon, my dearest. My dearest, dearest. Okay, who are we journaling along with? What is the deal here now? Level 15. Okay, I think we did that, so I think we will trigger 15 and 20. 15. Oh, yeah, we did 15, and we've done, yeah, we're beyond that with Bubsy. And then the last one is 35. Oh, we need to be 35 with Dark. We're 27 with Dark, so we should go hang with Dark. Let's go get Dark and drag him around for the day. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we also only need one more book. This, this is getting bananas. I don't receive many compliments. Thank you. Let's hang out, dude. We're not going to walk around Ketopia together. We're going to gather things, my friend. Like bugs. You're gonna find dewdrops everywhere. It's just a thing. Don't worry about it. Don't be alarmed. It's natural. It's just money, my friend. It comes, it goes. All right. So let's use the new bridge we built. Yeah, me and our pet built that yesterday. Uh, well, neither of us went to the hospital, so if that tells you anything about how well it went. Okay, let's get some wood here. Oh. Looks like somebody's got a gift for us in the forest. You gotta be careful, Arpeggio. I could have uh, mistaken you for a tree there. With that gift on your head. Shall we dance? I can play you a lovely tune. Bridge tile stone. What, dude? Awesome. That is awesome. When catching bugs, it's important that you use proper form. Your hand must come down in one fell swoop as you dramatically look in the other direction. Oh, and one leg must be raised, pointing to the heavens. <laughs> I really like these characters. I feel like Arpeggio is like, has the, uh, I don't know, just the, the kind of like uh, showmanship of like a, a young Mozart. That's what Arpeggio's got going on. Arrogant and demand. Oh, maybe not arrogant though. Okay, let's get these last two and dark, we're not gonna, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do some composting today. You know what we're going to do today, because we've been taking it easy? Let's compost fish this time. 
Because that smells better than the other stuff, I think. That's what I've heard. Okay, let's go to the forest and see if we cannot find... Kidding, we're going to go to the caverns. Let's go to the caverns and see if we can't find the last thing. Also, let's grab a black pearl while we're here. Because they're rare, I heard. Okay, buddy. Um, you know, I don't really know. Maybe we'll go to the third one right away. No, nope, here we go. Here we go. Raven the L L Elementalist brings us Book 12, a Study of Wampers. Okay, um... So, we've got, uh... I'm just going through all of our people here. Okay, let's leave the caverns. Let's, uh, re Oh, no, what we're gonna do, my friend, is... Let's go to the library and talk to the librarian, because we, I think, have completed the Grand Library. Yeah, the doors are open. Look at that. Or was that just a glitch? Dude. Mm, you've donated 24 books. Oh my, you've completely restored the Grand Library as promised. Here are the two coordinates to the Edge of Solemn. We can now travel to the Edge of Solemn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're not going to read all of the books right now, because that would be bananas. But I think it's probably appropriate that uh, Dark and I go together to the Edge of Solemn. Wow, this place is bananas. Some say that if you fall through this hole, you'll land in the world below. Okay, what's this about? Time Warper. I don't even know what that's going to do. A stack of obsidian blocks. It would take 250 seconds to break by hand. Oh, what is this? Invisible cloak. What? Okay. Okay, so I... Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. I can't be invisible. Oh, you can advance time to the next season. What? I can water flowers with staying on top of them, yeah, I can, okay. I can, right, we got the terror finder, it's always good to have. Okay, is that, so is that it, Did it or do we have to go and do more around here? Perhaps that is it, perhaps those are the two things. This is where our beloved hero of Solemn slayed the dark wizard, may Solemn forever be in a time of peace. Statue of one of the dark wizards. Uh, monsters. Scary. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's kind of uh, the thing. Wow. That's cool. Alright, let's go back home now. Oh, you know what? Well... Okay, so I'm curious. So we've, we've traveled to the edge of Solemn. Hey Venus, what's going on? Always take time to get a magical cog from your dog. So we've, we're still working on cutting down our trees, and we are working on getting those last tarot monster cards. That, that's the thing. We're still on those. Unbelievable. Okay, so let's go to the port city and see who's there, if it's still Erica or not. I'm very curious. Uh, no, it's it's Lucius again, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, Lucius, I didn't really want to battle you, but you, you know what? We'll do this, because I feel bad. Um, okay. Block fire monster. What do we got here? What do we got? Um, let's reduce some incoming earth monster damage, I guess. Oh, wow, we reduce it by three. Reflect an Earth Monster, oh my gosh. Okay, well he's down to 11. Okay, so reduce fire monsters by, oh, right, just incoming damage. Let's just reduce incoming damage. That's fine. What it's gonna do is now some good. Uh, unless I can, yeah, no, I can nothing I can do with that. Let's zippo dippo. Um, Huh. Okay, let's put this Kraken into play. 
gonna do a couple of damage. I can't, uh, oh yeah, we can, we'll take three damage, that's okay. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this thing and do six damage because our top of our cannon was water. Uh, okay, we're gonna block this water monster, thank goodness, because we're blocking six damage. And now, um, hmm. they can reduce damage by one. Yeah, none of these are going to be great. I'm just going to go with this. Do two damage. Okay. And I'm going to block a light monster. And then I'm going to do... Uh, I guess two damage with the phoenix? Can you block a... There we go. Okay, that's fine. We didn't... <laughs> I didn't want to do anything else there. That's all good. Okay, so let's go back to the library again. Let's go check it out. That's fantastic. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We got Floating Continents. Yeah, we read that. The Cataclysm. I think we read that. The World Below. I feel like we read these early ones. Maybe we didn't. The Scourge. So, oh uh, yeah, we read that. Other Continents, right? One of twelve. Port City to Luca. Yeah, I, okay, we read some of these. I don't know. I feel confused. Dewdrops. Okay, all of Solomon's uh, kingdoms use a single currency, dewdrops. Raw dewsite can be mined underneath the floating continent, but it is a very dangerous endeavor. Once the dewsite is mined, the coin master of guild stamps and mints each dewdrop to ensure its authenticity, creating a shiny blue and silver negative value. Airships and air balloons. Whether you're in the bustling of an, uh, streets of an Alexandrian city or vacationing on the relaxing beaches of Deluca, look up in the sky. Looking up in the sky will always reveal dozens of airships and air balloons. Air travel is used for transporting goods, traveling between kingdoms, and used even for leisure. None of these aircrafts are capable of intercontinental travel, though. One of the most popular areas to mine is in Solomon are the Dust Caverns. There are plenty of ores to be found, along with magical dust that has a variety of uses. The Dust Caverns were discovered by Alexandrian explorers when visiting the Derbaros Kingdom. Some say that deep within the caverns there exists a giant serpent who can grant wishes, but that could just be a myth. Okay, what else do we have? Glaive, the gold city. To the south, in the forgotten kingdom of Orm, stands a city made of gold. Glaive houses some of Solemn's most talented wizards, knights, and blacksmiths. When purchasing top quality goods, Glaive is the only place to go. Streets and buildings are plated with magic, enhancing gold, giving the city a vibrant energy that reverberates through its goods and its people. Draboros. To the east lies Draboros, a kingdom that withstands the harsh and brutal nature of the desert. This tough environment has bred great warriors and strong-willed people. Those who dare to brave the desert in dangerous caverns may be rewarded with rare and valuable treasure. Glistening jewels, magical ores, and ancient artifacts are spread throughout the land. Alexandria's Solemn's largest and most dangerous prosperous kingdom is the epicenter of the new developments in technology, art, and magic. Throughout Alexandria, there are many cities filled to the brim with all types of folk who want to pursue their dreams. Through hard work and perseverance, anyone can find success and fulfillment in this bright and just kingdom. Dude. Oh, okay. No, nope, he's that's all he's got to say. Does anybody have anything else that you got? No, okay. The Magical Academy. Alexandria has the most prestigious magical academy in all of Solemn. Many aspiring wizards, mages, sorcerers, and even necromancers apply to get enrolled every year. There are a plethora of courses offered at the academy, which include potion brewings, fire spells 101, intro to healing magic, raising the dead for your zombie army, and much more. Mysteries on Dark Trees. Within the endless forest lies dangerous predators known as dark trees. These trees will prey on animals and people alike using their vicious root attack. Some speculate that endless forest is a connection to another world. Not much is known on why the forest seems to go on forever, or what secrets lie deep within it. Lightning Mages The Lightning Mages are a group of powerful magic users who seek to uncover the secrets within the endless forest and destroy the dark trees. A common offensive tactic they employ is to drop bottled lightning onto highly corrupted areas while riding their trusty worldly bugs. Only the most talented and diligent mages can become lightning mage, for it is a very dangerous job. The Endless Forest This forest is one of Solm's most intriguing phenomena. But explorers can walk around the entire perimeter of the Endless Forest, but once inside, one can seem seemingly walk forever. It is important that explorers always remember how they entered the forest, for if they forget, they will be wandering until their doom. Magical Dust, Properties and Uses Dust is the primary source of power used for many machines in Solemn. Airships, trains, and small vehicles all use dust as their fuel. 
Dust has many magical properties, allowing it to be used in potion brewing, medicine, and even cooking. Miners often enjoy a nice cup of dust coffee as the sun rises before heading to work. A study on Whompers. Whompers are rapid beasts that live within the dust caverns. A Whomper has a round, scaly body with a giant mouth. They typically stick together in herds and love to eat all types of rocks and ores. Careless miners may find themselves being chomped on by a bunch of hungry Whompers. Miners are encouraged to carry a loud whistle with them at all times. I was going to take a pause and say, uh, these are really well written because I'm I, first time I've read most of these and I'm able to read them at a pretty good clip uh, without pausing and that, that to me is always the mark of somebody who's actually, when, I've read a lot of kids books to my kids uh, when they were younger and uh, I could tell good writing because I could read it at the speed and uh, so th these are very well done. Properties of Magic there are three main schools of magic in Solemn, offensive, defensive, and support. Each school takes advantage of the five elements which are fire, water, earth, light, and dark. Elements can be combined to create very powerful spells. Fusion Flare, Photon Geyser, and Dragon Darts are a few notable examples. The Dark Wizard The emergence of the Dark Wizard plunged Solemn into chaos. His origins were unknown until recent discoveries. A small fragment of the Scourge, known as a Scourgeling, came into the contact with a young wizard. The Bullet Wizard Young wizard's body and mind were overtaken with an unspeakable darkness. Many fear there may even be worse things to emerge from the mysterious world below. I think we'd read that one. Powers of the Dark Wizard The Dark Wizard seemingly had complete control of all five elements and unleashed them in the form of devastating spells that Solemn had never seen before. In addition to absolute mastery of traditional magic, the Dark Wizard could conjure monsters that had minds of their own. These minions wreaked havoc on the Kingdom of Solemn. I love how that ties into the whole tarot card um, mythos that he's created here, which is that's kind of cool. That's neat. Gareth the Swordsmith. Tarot Monster Origins. The moment the hero slayed the Dark Wizard, all of the wizard's monsters were sealed away in small cards. It seems that their magic is safely contained inside this new form. People all over Solemn quickly began collecting these cards and battling with them. Tarot Monster is now Solemn's most popular pastime, and almost everyone has a deck of their favorite cards. There are many case edges of Solemn, since it is a floating continent, but one edge in particular is a very special place. The edge of Solemn is where the hero and the Dark Wizard did their final battle. Many tourists now visit this magical place to witness where the great battle of all time occurred. Also, it is fun to peer over the edge into the mysterious world below. Just don't fall off. The Final Battle the few witnesses of the hero's final fight said it was truly a magnificent sight to behold. The hero had a party of adventurers that aided in the battle, and after much distraction they brought the wizard down. Then the dark wizard and the hero both disappeared. It wasn't until much later that the hero was found in a forest, but without much memory at all. But where is the dark wizard? Where is he, indeed? Buddy, that, that's, uh, that's your story, story of your life, my friend. Wow, that was so well done. Um, so... <laughs> We're still working on our 6,000 trees and the last couple of tarot cards. Um, we've got ourselves uh, 5,200 trees. So we're gonna, we've got 700 and some more trees to go. We're gonna get those. Um, I probably have a little bit more decorating to do. I feel like well, I could definitely do a few more things around here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what else then. It's mostly I've got to get those last tarot cards. That's gonna be the, the main thing, I think. And uh, that, I don't know if that, again, is gonna be. Uh, a seasonal thing? Like, am I gonna have to skip ahead a season? <laughs> That's a possibility. I'm on the la like the 28th of si of summer, so I might be kind of on the end of summer anyway here. And then we we might do is uh, yeah, hopefully we'll run into our new friend. So well, actually, this timing wise might all work out like super duper perfectly. Oh, what a day! And I think I don't have any voice left. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye bye.